Leonardo DRS and Blue Halo have continually improved their drone neutralization system, starting with a Striker APC, equipped with a diverse range of weapons beyond its standard 30mm automatic cannon. The vehicle features 70mm laser-guided missiles, and most impressively, the Locus Laser Module, with a power output of 26 kilowatts, capable of taking down drones flying at altitudes up to 5.5 kilometers and speeds of around 60 kilometers per hour additionally. It is well suited for electronic warfare, incorporating the Titan CUES and Titan SV systems for enhanced operational versatility. <laughs> The Patria Tremos mortar system is designed for modern and future combat operations, combining a compact size with an impressive rate of fire. It can be easily mounted on 4x4, 6x6, and 8x8 trucks, thanks to its advanced hydropneumatic recoil system, and is compatible with 81mm and 120mm NATO ammunition. Capable of opening fire within 60 seconds of arrival, the system can fire up to 15 rounds per minute with a range of 7 kilometers. Additionally, the Patria Tremos integrates seamlessly into battlefield management systems, enhancing the effectiveness of hit and run tactics. The Moog RWP Combat Station is best described as versatile featuring a modular design that allows military forces to customize its equipment based on mission requirements and situational needs. It can be equipped with 7.62mm machine guns, 30mm cannons, and a variety of missile launchers, including Javelin and Hellfire systems, along with non-lethal options like electronic warfare systems or grenade launchers for smoke, light, and stun ammunition. Its platform-independent design enables mounting on robotic combat vehicles, making it adaptable to a wide range of operations. Already in use by the U.S. Army, the British Army has also adopted the RWP system as of September. Fails Artemis addresses asymmetric threats like drone swarms, multidirectional attacks, and low-flying supersonic missiles, which can endanger ships with even a single hit, emphasizing the need for advanced defense systems. Already used by four navies, Artemis stands out for its advanced sensors, which provide 120 degrees coverage with a single camera, compared to the eight required by other systems. It can track up to 200 targets simultaneously, including air, water, and ground threats such as missiles, drones, aircraft, and tanks, while delivering exceptionally clear vision. Furthermore, the system is effective in empkin conditions, carefully managing high-frequency emissions to conceal the ship's location from enemy reconnaissance. <laughs> The Nim Rokas bomb disposal robot boasts a speed of 20 km per hour, 10 hours of operation on a full tank, and a 4 meter long mechanical arm capable of handling mines, improvised explosive devices, and precise tasks like unscrewing parts or cutting cables. Built on the versatile Themis track platform, Rokas can switch configurations, such as from route clearing to a mule setup, depending on operational needs. Its open architecture system allows for extensive customization, making it adaptable to a wide range of tasks. Saab has introduced the Sirius Compact L20C, a new addition to its family of tactical electronic warfare sensors, designed to track and classify communication signals. This sensor can pinpoint the control location of a drone or identify enemy radio stations. Built to NATO standards in both hardware and software, the Sirius Compact L20C covers frequencies from 20 MHz to 3 GHz 
with an optional extension up to 6 GHz. While not extremely compact, its weight of under 25 kg, excluding batteries, makes it suitable for vehicle installations or portable use. The Gorgon X8 BUAS, designed for reconnaissance and munitions delivery, is a precise and fast drone capable of staying airborne for 55 minutes on a single charge, covering up to 8 kilometers at speeds of 54 kilometers per hour. Its digital communication system is protected against electronic warfare, and it features a 10x zoom camera with EOR technology, combining electro-optical and infrared sensors. Additionally, the drone offers customizable payload options, allowing clients to install specific equipment to suit mission requirements. The FFG Boxer Armored Recovery Module transforms the versatile Boxer family of armored vehicles into an effective recovery vehicle. Equipped with a powerful winch generating a pulling force of 200 knots, it can easily move tracked vehicles. For loading operations, the module includes a crane with a 20-ton lifting capacity, and stability is ensured by specialized supports. Its armor meets Stanag 4569 Level 5 standards, capable of withstanding 25 mm armor-piercing projectiles from 500 meters and 155 mm fragmentation projectile explosions from 25 meters, ensuring robust protection in challenging combat environments. The Contech Mobile Truck Bed Fighting Position is a modular combat system designed for both military and law enforcement applications. It can be concealed in the cargo bed of a pickup truck and deployed in just 30 seconds. The standard design includes portholes and observation windows, offering NJ3 level protection, capable of withstanding fire from 7.62 mm caliber weapons at a distance of 15 meters. Priced at $9,500, it features a low-cost design with minimal preventive maintenance requirements and offers easy customization to accommodate various mission-specific equipment. BeaverFit has carved out a unique niche by designing, manufacturing, and selling unconventional training systems, such as a gym in a container, for both civilian and military clients. For military organizations, they developed the training tower specifically for the U.S. Special Operations Command SOCOM, resulting in an incredibly functional structure suited for training in confined spaces, improving rock climbing skills, and simulating parachute landings. To enhance realism, the tower can also be equipped with sleds, making it a versatile and valuable tool for specialized training.
The EATEC Bino NVW night vision goggles are described by their creators as ultra modern, compact, and lightweight, packed with impressive features. With a 47 degrees field of vision, they surpass similar products by up to 7 degrees. Safety is prioritized, as the goggles can withstand a one hour dive to a depth of 20 meters. Additionally, the Bino NVW offers diopter adjustments from plus 2 to minus 6 operates on a single AA battery, and weighs just 500 G. Despite these advanced capabilities, the goggles come with a hefty price tag of $4,300, making them a significant investment for those in need of high-performance night vision equipment. The Turkish Army's GZPT armored personnel carriers, known for their amphibious capabilities, are set to undergo modernization, with 52 models slated for redesign. Planned improvements include modifications to the suspension, engine, and transmission, the installation of new generation electronics, and the addition of an air conditioning system. Additionally, the upgraded vehicles, now designated as GZPT T1, will feature a twin-barrel unmanned turret that can be adapted for 7.62 mm, 12.7 mm, and 40 mm calibers. Despite these upgrades, the APCs will retain their amphibious capabilities, maintaining a speed of up to 6.3 km per hour on water.